In this week's video, we take a break from camping and I upgrade the horn in our RAV4 Prime. Our Prime's name is Brutus, and finally the horn is worthy of its name. Join us in this brand new video from Golden Canine Campers. Hey guys, really exciting day, Daryl here. So what we're going to do today is we're going to fix the Toyota RAV4 Prime's horn. It drove me crazy every time my wife drove by. And she honked the horn at me. If she saw me, it sounds so dinky. So I saw a video about the Hello horn on the RAV4 Prime and it makes it sound super cool, super loud, and a lot more Brutus-y. If you notice, the name of my RAV4 Prime is Brutus. So yeah, so finally we get to have a horn that matches his name. Okay, let's get started. All right, so the first thing we need to do is remove these two 10 millimeter bolts. So there's one here and there's one here. So we will go ahead and do that first. We can use a standard 10 millimeter socket to go ahead and remove this. Okay, so we're going to um, use this really handy um, AC Delco wrench that I got and put that on there. And let's do its thing. And be careful with these bolts, don't drop them. Go ahead and grab the next one. Now there's five plastic clips that we need to remove from the shroud um, to be able to remove that. And so we've got uh, one, two, and three, four, and five. And also, I guess before we remove that, we also have to remove this, these two bolts right here. So we'll probably get those two first. This holds the uh, hood release. And so we'll go ahead and move those and we can just move this out of the way. Next one. Okay. Oh, I missed it. There's one more bolt right down there. this off to the side. Okay, now we have these five plastic clips that we need to remove. And you can do that with a flathead screwdriver. Smaller screwdriver. There we go. That comes out really nicely. Okay, now the shroud should come off easily. Oh, that's off. Okay. Next thing we need to do is we need to remove the horn so that we can upgrade the horn. So this is a 12 millimeter right here. And one thing I'm not sure about is the direction of the horn and the way it's actually supposed to go. So I'm not sure. We'll see. I'm going to see as I remove this, I'm going to see what it looks like. Yeah, this is a little bit of a pain to get in here and remove this bolt, but we'll get it. Oh, 
All right, so I got that removed and now it's just a matter of removing this harness. See what kind of trickeries we got with this harness here. For this one, you had this little push button right here. Um, and then you pulled from this little thing and this little thing and then pulled that out. So it's pretty easy. That was, wasn't too bad. All right, let's get the other one off. So we have the other horn right there. And there's the there's the um, harness. So let me look at the um, look at this other horn here. Let's see what we got. So here's the other here's the horn here, and it mounted that way. And I think there's no real speaker on this thing. It just all kind of comes in every direction. It looks like out. I would assume the storm would be going down. Just in case we want to put these back on, we had red, red on the right hand side, and then we had white over here on the left hand side. Alright, yeah, so the only way I can get into this one on, I guess, the right hand side is by using this wrench. <clears throat> This one's gonna take, this one's gonna take a little longer. All right, so we've got both horns removed. Okay, so I'm looking at these directions. Um, the video that I said, that I saw, I didn't really talk about which, um, which orientation um, these horns are supposed to be, and they're different parts, um, so if, you, if I look at the horn here, um, one is 12 volt at 500 hertz and the other one is 12 volt at 400 hertz. So they're obviously different. And if I look at the orientation of them, so one has the, the horn on the right hand side, one has the horn on the left hand side. So when I look at the instructions here, and so, We have the steering wheel here, and so this would obviously be the left-hand side of the car, and then I think this would be the right-hand side. I don't know if it's correct, but that's the way I'm going to do it, and hopefully it works. All right. All right. So I think you guys can see me here. Yes. Okay. So this one should then go right here. Jesus Christ. Okay, I dropped a bolt. And I can't see it. Okay, so something you want to be very careful of. I don't even know if you guys can see this. So I was trying to get this bolt on. And it fell. Down into here. way off into that corner. So, I've got a magnet thingy. I'm gonna try to get it. Okay, I was successful in getting it. Super tight quarters. Let's try to get that in there. So let's try it again. Okay, so this little is the one I was trying to do. And I'm trying to get it into here. But not drop it. Better. Okay, so before I 
get this guy in here super tight. I'm gonna make the connection. The connection is gonna go over on this side. All right, so here's a little problem. My little connector is right there. And the cable is right here. So it doesn't reach. It's a little, of a, a little bit of a problem. Let me look at my video. <laughs> See what the, my video says. After I messaged the guy that um, I watched the video of, a JT um, too quick, um, he said the orientation that I had was correct um, for the install, but. This little wire here that goes to the speaker, I don't know if you can actually see that. So that little wire right there, it didn't reach um, to the right side of this, I guess the trumpet, I guess you could call it. Um, and so what I did is I had to cut a little bit of the tape away um, so that it could then be stretched a little bit. And so I think I'm going to be able to start moving on now and getting this, this install complete. So you can see right there. Um, so that's a little connector. Now see this connector, this connector here. Um, it's really kind of intended on the Toyotas to face downward and you see it, it actually faces to the side, but you do have this kind of long bracket. Um, right here that connects so that helps I guess for it to reach but I cut away the wire um, or I cut away some of the tape and so I think I'm gonna be all right so now I can connect this wire this wire to this guy and it looks like it's reaching now so that's good it's still pretty tight Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, so I think we're good. It's um, it's got a little bit of slack to it, so I think we're okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and basically just tighten this bolt down, and I think we should be good. Okay, so I've been successfully installed the horn, the new horn. It seems like we're good. So I've got the old horn right here. And so now I just need to disconnect it. So there is a, I think you can see this. There's a little um, kind of button right here. And then there's a latch on the back. And so basically what you need to do is just kind of hold that button down and then kind of pull from where that latch is. And from the button, and then it just kind of will come right off. There we go. Okay, so we got that off. And now we need to install the new horn. Before I install the second horn, um, I'm just gonna test that this horn is working. So I only have one horn connected, and let's see what it sounds like. Okay, that's our new horn, and I really like the sound. So let's go ahead and get the other one installed. So the orientation, once again, is the trumpet um, on the left-hand side is going to be on the left, and on the right-hand one, this trumpet is on the right-hand side. So I'm going to get in here, and... Here's the bracket, and there's where we want it to go. The question is, will the existing cable connect to that? And I'm not sure 
if it will or not. We'll see. So now the question is, in that position right there, will the connector fit? I think I've got it. Um, we just basically cut away until this little tape. So now this piece is now separated from the other piece. And so I'm hoping now that we should be able to finagle it in there. See if it looks like it will bolt up without too much trouble. All right, the bolt's going in. All right, let's see if this guy is going to go in there. Okay, snapped in there. That's on. I think we're okay. All right, so let me, um, let me tighten this up and check both horns and see what we got. And um, I saw my buddy Jay Too Quick when he did this. He basically tightened this from the back and was able to get his bolt on here. So that works. Just have to go from the back side. Tighten this guy up. Okay, it's in there pretty solid. It doesn't got much slack, but it's terribly tight, so I think we're good. Maybe a couple more turns. And I think we're basically done with the horn install. Um, let me see how it sounds. Whoa. That, that is a loud horn, so. Anyway, we're, we're done. We've got to put everything back together and I'm going to listen to the old horn and, and show the new horn so you get to see what the difference is. And um, yeah, so this took a little longer than I thought and I really thought it was going to be plug and play where you know everything was going to fit really nicely, the cables, but I, I ended up having to cut some of the cables away just to make it fit. But I mean, it wasn't that bad. Yeah, I think it's um, I think it's a success. All right, so I think the um, first thing that we need to do, kind of go in reverse order here, is we need to put the cowl back on. So that should all go in here. Everything needs to fit underneath. So everything actually it went down easier than it went up, went, went in. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Let's see the next one. I think we should put back on the, the hood release. All right, got that one. All right, one more. There we go. Tighten these up. Go. And our last one. All right, guys. So next thing we need to do is just um, reinstall these um, these bolts. Gonna hand tighten them initially. We install those plastic clips. There's five of them, I think. Get these lined up. Stick them in there. Move this guy over to get it centered. Okay, 
and this last one. Okay. Looks like, looks good. All right, let's go ahead and close her up. Yeah, nice and solid. Okay, here's our horn. Okay, so I'm gonna do the test um, basically on the street so you can hear it and um, test uh, with the windows rolled up and windows rolled down to see what that sounds like and um, also on the street with the horn, see what that sounds like and I think we're done. All right guys, so here's the, the test. So I've upgraded the horn and so I'm inside the car and the windows are up. So let's see what it sounds like compared to stock. There's now the stock horn. Okay, now I'm gonna put the windows down. Holy crap, that thing is loud. So we're outside the car and we're gonna check the horn to see what that sounds like. Hey everyone, so just a quick summary. Overall, I'm really pleased with the sound of the horn. The install wasn't quite as plug and play as I expected as the wires didn't reach, but really all it required was just a little cutting of the tape to kind of separate things, and then the wires were able to plug in without any problem. So if you're like me and you really hate the way the stock RAV4 Prime horn sounds, I can't recommend this product enough because I think it really changes the character of the horn. I think it's louder and I think it's a lot more tough. If you are one of those many folks that have watched my RAV4 Prime owner's review, you probably know how much Nicole hated the pedestrian warning system and how loud it was. Do you hear that funky noise? It sounds terrible. So in my next video, I'm gonna be making a little modification to the system just to quiet it a little bit. You're not gonna to wanna to miss that video. As always, if you got some value from this video, please consider liking it as well as subscribing to my channel. And I hope to see you in the next one again very soon. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago But all will be okay I move on each and every day The past is where it stays Wait back a year